Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video and this is going to be an update on the car stereo at home project. So I made a few changes here and there, got a new amp and yes, finally got a new set of front speakers. So this one will be replaced by JBL's, let me show you. So this is the one that I've got, JBL GTO 609C 90 watts RMS speakers. And here's the speaker driver. Oh yeah, this is heavy. Just look at that, look at the size of the magnet here and look at the size of the magnet on the OEM speakers. 270 watts peak but I urge you to ignore the peak power and just look at the RMS rating of these speakers and these are by Harman. Harman is owned by Samsung so <laughs> I guess these are Samsung speakers maybe. But yeah JBL is awesome, love the sound quality and these ones sound even better than those uh, Sony coaxial speakers that I've got so I might get another set of these for the uh, rear speakers and sell those Sony's but yeah this one also comes with a tweeter and a crossover actually two crossovers so we've got the left hand side speaker and the right side speaker that one also comes with a tweeter and a crossover hey look at the quality awesome And I think this is for the tweeter boost. But yeah, you plug in the tweeter here, your woofer goes here, woofer means that one. And here you get the input from your amp. So yeah, you will need an amp to run these properly. You really won't get a good audio effect if you use the amplifier inside the head unit. So I might get another amp. This one is for the subwoofer. And this is the one that I'm using for the rear speaker. So guys, this is the mounting hardware for the JBL speakers. And like I said, comes with two crossovers and two tweeters. And then you also have the speaker grill, which is awesome. I think it looks awesome on the speaker once it's installed in a box and with these grills on, it will look awesome. You also have the ceiling tape and like I said, uh, two tweeters, two crossovers, mounting hardware and all that stuff is there. Okay, so this is the new amp that I've got. This is the Sony XM-GS100. This is the box. And this one is rated at 333 watts RMS power. 1100 watts max power, but ignore that. Just look at the RMS Class D amplifier. It's got low boost, low pass filter, 50 hertz. And this is the cover. It goes, uh, the cover goes over here and you have some screws here for adjustment. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this. But we've got the level adjustment, we've got the subsonic filter, got low boost, 40 hertz, and then your low pass filter, set it to 50 hertz. And that's your power LED. And this is the casing which goes on over there like this. Uh, so that all these adjustment pots are hidden and most importantly they don't get any dust inside. And this is the amplifier for the rear speakers. Now I do plan to sell this amplifier and get a 4 channel amp. Uh, I think Sony also makes a 4 channel amp in this sort of configuration. So I'll get a 4 channel amp and sell this one. Uh, that will be my next project before I get the speaker enclosures because uh, since I'm using aftermarket speakers, uh, I will need a 4 channel amp. The amp inside the car's head unit will not be sufficient enough to power the aftermarket speakers. And this is how it looks when the top cover is on. And seriously, this is the best amp for a subwoofer. Lots of power, lots of adjustment, and it sounds great. Now, unfortunately, I cannot give you a demo right now because all the speakers are disconnected, and I do plan to sell this one, so that's why everything is disconnected. But yeah, trust me, this sounds amazing. Anywho, these boxes arrived yesterday, and these are kind of nice. So these are for the Sony coaxial speakers, these ones. So if I just try and put the speaker here, you can see it fits perfectly. Uh, you need to put screws and here's the front shroud let me just put this in you see how nice it looks and this box even has a terminal connector here so you can just plug in your wires coming from the amp this is from a brand called drive on i'll put the link in the video description here are the wires i soldered these on over here i don't think you can see it but yeah, I had these wires soldered on. These are the wires that came with the speaker and they fit perfectly on the Sony Quaxel speakers. And here's the back. And yeah, this is one of those sealed 
boxes so there is no port over here so once again a close up of the MDF wood if anybody wants to see it and look at this how nicely these boxes fit in my showpiece shelf so I can just have these speakers mounted over here not bad it kind of sticks out a little bit but yeah I'm not that bothered about that I mean those Sony speakers installed with the shroud will look awesome now I can get custom boxes done for the JBL component speaker and the Sony coaxial speaker but the problem is it's the middle of December and everyone is in a holiday mood so the carpenter who did all this work so I, I actually got all of this custom made so the guy who did the work on our furniture that guy is not avail available until new year so he's on a holiday and after that he's picking up another project I did talk to him and yeah so that's one problem if I want custom boxes this project will be delayed for about uh, at least one to two months and I cannot afford it but it's actually cheaper to get custom boxes than get getting boxes online on Amazon so that's one advantage you have with the custom boxes and with custom boxes you can uh, design them yourself and actually have a box uh, fit over there and fit over here I do have to readjust the space but yeah you get the point now you guys might be saying why don't you get another carpenter well that's because the guy who worked on all our furniture that guy is kind of familiar to us so why get a new completely new person who's not even experienced and uh, do the job but yeah let's see what happens I'll update you guys on this but first I want to test these boxes myself uh, put some polyfill in it wire up the speakers and then listen to some music see how everything goes and then after that if that works out I'll order the boxes for the front uh, component speakers oops I should probably shouldn't keep these over here <laughs> uh, maybe I'll put these inside like this guys it is finally here the four channel power amplifier from Sony this one is XM GS4 supports high-res audio and this amplifier is perfect for powering these component speakers and these coaxial speakers and this is the box in which it comes in and a quick look at all of these connectors here to connect wires you'll need to take out this uh, shroud and it also has a little cooling fan right here so I'll just flip this over and wow okay it's very heavy yeah this is a superb quality product Alright, so let me just take this off and I'll show you what all adju adjustments you get inside here. And by the way, this is rated at 70 watts into 4, that's 70 watts RMS, not peak power. So this amp is rated at 70 watts RMS into 4, 700 watts of peak power. Don't look at peak power, always look at RMS, low pass, high pass filter, low boost, and you can bridge this. But we won't be bridging this because we'll use all the... Uh, speaker connectors at the back so let me just take this out and I'll show you what all adjustments you get under the hood okay so once you take these two screws out you can take this metal shroud out and this is also quite heavy and this gives you access to the terminals and it gives you access to these adjustment parts low pass high pass filter for the front and the rear so this is for the rear speakers this is for the front and you can use this for subwoofer if you turn off the turn the low pass filter on but we are going to use these use this amplifier for these speakers and I want these speakers as a full range speaker so we'll keep the low pass high pass filter in the off position and you have your level adjustment your bass boost and, and for, for now I'm going to leave it at the default values but once you connect the speakers you just turn the volume up and then you just adjust all of this until the system sounds good and wiring this thing up is very simple your 12 volt connection is here so yellow wire from the power supply goes in here ground black wire goes here this is your remote turn on and if you want to take a look at the how to install a car audio system at home click over here so this is where your rear speakers plug in and this is your front speaker connection and you have these RCA inputs uh, this connects you need to plug in the RCA cables from your head unit over here and this is your high level input we are not going to use this we are going to plug in from uh, directly from the head unit uh, typically you'll use the high 
level input if you are using a radio which is installed from the factory but we are using a cast radio which is over here so uh, we'll be using these so i'm going to install this and then we'll test the system out on these speakers okay so now i have to disconnect this i already have the rca cables unplugged so this one powers the rear speaker so these are the connections for the rear speakers and the power connection and the remote uh, are over here sorry about the video quality i'm just standing uh, on my bench here but that's how it goes and this is the subwoofer amplifier all right so i'm done with the wiring and uh, you can see these wires are now free on the car's head unit uh, we won't be needing them these are just the speaker connectors so only the power cable and the remote turn on cables are now connected and these are the rca cables uh, these ones are going to the amplifier so we have one two three four five six rca cables man look at these amplifiers they look awesome okay so finally wiring is complete and when i turn the system on this led should light up white and this one should be blue so i'm gonna press this button bluetooth audio and there you have it nice i think the fan will run once the amp gets hot enough but the fan is not running so that's good uh, otherwise it will just pull in all the dust and it'll get clogged up so that's nice the fan runs only when the amp is hot and i have just turned up the low boost setting okay so just for a quick demo let me play a song i'm not gonna play it too long because i don't have all the speakers connected so this jbl is connected in one speaker at the rear uh, just to test the thing but yeah it does run and the song i'm gonna be playing is departure and this one is on ncs all the links are down in the video description and I'm going to play the same song in my final video, so just for a quick demo, here we are. So yeah, the speaker cone is moving a lot more than it was uh, with the head unit. Alright guys, made some progress, got a bag of polyfill. I'm going to stuff this box with polyfill, not all the way up, uh, just the uh, just this part, just the walls and maybe just a little bit in between. You should never uh, overfill this box with polyfill or else you might end up damaging the speaker and you probably won't get that kind of performance if you stuff the whole box up with polyfill. Alright guys, so I was experimenting with how much polyfill I need and looks like this is the correct amount. So the way I did this was I started out with a little bit of polyfill and I installed the speaker and I played some tunes just by holding the speaker down and just to see how it sounds like. And yeah, this is I think the correct amount. It sounds the best with this much polyfill. If you fill it up too much, there is the lower frequencies get just gets destroyed. And if you take out the polyfill that means it, there is just too much of this resonant sound and I don't like it. So this is I think the correct amount It's gonna let the glue dry and we'll be back tomorrow. Okay so here's another update. Uh, it looks like this terminal box was leaking air. So I just kept the speaker over here and I was playing some tunes to see if there are any leaks inside the box and turns out there is this part this part from inside here was leaking air. So what I did was I ordered some silicone, so I got one of these silicone sealants and I sealed the uh, terminal box up from the inside. So you can see uh, there's quite a bit of silicone on it and so far so good. It has been sealed up properly, the silicone has cured and I tested this thing out just once again and and yeah the air there's no more leakage of air from uh, over here. So this box is now completely airtight. All right, so yeah, that one is still drying out. Yeah, there's slightly more sealant in here. So before I install the speakers, I'll let this dry out for another day. And then after, th after that, we'll install the speakers and we'll test these boxes out. All right, guys, so the coaxial speaker boxes are still drying out. The sealant that I put is still wet and it's still releasing a lot of fumes. So you must not install the speaker until all the silicone silicone sealant fumes have cleared out otherwise it's going to damage your speaker 
Anywho, take a look at this. I just got a delivery of these six inch speaker boxes for my front speakers. Now, I know someone's going to say that these boxes are too small for a six inch speaker and you should get bigger boxes. Guys, seriously, I don't care. I want a box that fits on either side of my desk. So one box will go there and one box will be over here. And this is one of the reasons why I've got a smaller box. Otherwise, they could have just gotten a bigger box if I wanted more effect. But to be honest, I'm kind of short of space here. And this box will fit perfectly on either side of my monitor. So these are the two boxes that came in. And if you want to take a look at these, uh, all the appropriate links are down in the video description. You can check them out over there. And take a look at this. These are quite compact. And this, this box does not have a speaker terminal. I think that's good because that speaker terminal leaks a lot of air. So you have a little hole on either side and this can be easily sealed up with this silicone sealant. Anywho, uh, I'm just going to prepare these boxes and uh, we'll fit the speaker driver. But uh, here's my JVL speaker and this is how it will look once the speaker is installed. Now there is no port for the tweeter so I'm just going to place the tweeter on its top or um, I might place the tweeter over there uh, depends on uh, how it sounds so this is what I plan to do I want these two boxes to be here and one should be over there and the, the size of these boxes is actually perfect for what I want I, it could be a little bit slimmer and maybe a little bit taller but yeah this is what you get when you online order online if I was building a custom box I would have put a wooden laminate on it and I will be removing this music box and this drive on logo and putting a metallic JBL logo here because these are JBL drivers I do have that metallic JBL logo on order um, I've placed an order on Aliexpress and should get here in about 15-20 days but yeah once that JBL logo is here and these speakers are installed including the tweeters I think this system will sound awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare all of this uh, solder on the wires in the speaker uh, finish off the wiring first then put the silicone sealant over there actually I have to go wire the speakers later on first silicone sealant let that dry out then I'll uh, fill these boxes with polyfill and to attach the polyfill to the walls I'm using this synthetic resin adhesive because otherwise uh, all that polyfill be polyfill will be floating inside the box you, you don't want that you want the polyfill to actually stick to the walls of the box you know what guys I think I'll end this video here because it's gonna take some time to dry out this silicone sealant it takes around two days uh, I also want these fumes to dissipate properly I really don't want these drivers to get damaged and drying out this synthetic resin adhesive takes two to three days extra so i really don't want to wait that much that long to get these speaker boxes up and running and the coaxial speaker boxes are still drying out i think i'm gonna wait uh, one or two days more so i'm gonna upload this video and then after that i'm going to do another video and where a pair i'll set these boxes up so stay tuned for more videos guys this project is still not complete so you do know that there's a crossover for these speakers so I'm still not sure whether to put the crossover up there or I should put the crossover here so yeah anywho guys stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys in the next video very soon